What's going on everybody, Fishing the Odds here. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about prawn spinners, how to rig them and potentially set them up and also how to rig whole herring, okay? I'm gonna talk about the prawn spinner segment and then my buddy Kelly here is gonna talk about the whole herring segment and we're gonna get you guys dialed on uh, on how you fish this. In case your pro troll and your spinner ain't working, in case your, your cut plug herring ain't working, you know, there's always other things you can try out there on the river and I just kinda wanted to go over it real quick. So, one of the things I did as a fisherman, I, uh, I took my favorite colors and I made my own prawn spinner, okay? I love red hooks, I'm a stickler for red hooks. I'm fishing 25 pound mainline and I got one aught red hooks for my prawn spinner. Some guys like to run a two aught, one aught thing for your, uh, for your prawn spinners, but I do a double one aught and uh, it works out fine for me. But I got these purple purple, uh, purple beads here on, and then an orange bead right by my eyelet and that's how I like to, to fish mine. There's several colors that work, this ain't the only one, but uh, it's a simple rig really. You just tie two hooks next to each other, okay? You got your two hooks next to each other. Put however many beads you want, but typically you don't want to go too much because you don't want your spinner blade too far from your uh, hooks. But I like a four bead plus a small bead on my setup there. You're just tying two hooks, basically touching each other. The bend in the hook is almost touching the eyelet there. That's how you fish that. And uh, make your own spinners, guys. Right now, I'm just gonna go over how you rig this. And uh, and I'll show you what the roll looks like once you've done it effectively, okay? Let's get, let's get to it. So you're gonna take your back hook here, guys. You got two hooks, right? This one and this one. You're gonna take your back hook. You're gonna go through the meat and you're gonna come out by the eye. Okay, grab my glove here. You're gonna come out right by the eye just like that. So you're gonna have one hook trailing behind that hook. One hook sticks out there and one trails behind that. Okay, and then with that trailing hook, you're kinda gonna open up your prawn a little bit. You're in a half hitch, okay? Let's sit down here, see if you guys can't get a good view. This is the tail part. You're gonna open up that tail just a little bit. Start your first half hitch before you open it, okay? Like so. You're gonna open it up a little bit. See all those legs in there? That one, that one, that one, that one. You're gonna half hitch in between those legs. So you're gonna take your half hitch, go in between a set of legs right there, okay? You're gonna tighten that up. See how it's already opening up? That's what you're trying to achieve here. And you're gonna take your half hitch, you're gonna go through another set of legs. Boom, you've opened it up a little bit more, right? Open it up a little bit more. Take your half hitch, and you're gonna go through just like that. That's right near the tail there. See how my prawn has opened up quite a bit now? That's what you're trying to achieve here so you can get a nice roll, okay? So I'm gonna do another half hitch over the tail. Boom. And then lastly, another half hitch over the tail. Don't cinch these down too tight, guys. You don't wanna break this prawn. It's very fragile, okay? So let's just do it like that. Just pull it a little bit, get a little snug, right? But not too much, okay? So, gonna fish my homemade spinner here. I'm gonna show you what a nice roll looks like in the water now. This is gonna roll nice. I can tell by the shape of it. Okay. There's my prawn in the water. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back around for you guys. You see that nice roll, guys? You get that nice tuck and roll. That's what you're trying to achieve. It's a tuck and roll. It's a slow roll, but it looks nice in the water, right? That looks effective. Nice slow roll, perfect, okay? That's what you're trying to achieve. You're not achieving a herring roll. You're not achieving a herring roll, guys. What you're basically doing is you're getting this thing to roll like this. It's like a whipping roll. That's the kind of roll you want in your prawn. And uh, that's how we got them in the past and it's been working for me so far. Lastly, guys, I just want to talk about one more thing before Kelly shows you guys how to rig a whole herring. And uh, I'm going to talk about my setup here. Okay. 
It's by Cold Water Strong. It's called the Anti Mainline Twist Setup. Okay. It starts up here. This bead chain is my own. It's not part of the setup. Zoom in on this, Kelly. This is what makes it anti mainline twist, guys. You have your dropper right here. Okay. So here's here's my main line. Coming off of that, I got my snap, my barrel swivel, and this split ring, heavy duty split ring. It's made for a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of pressure. Okay, so that split ring ain't gonna break. That's a heavy duty one. You got your snap to a barrel swivel to a split ring. Now one of the things I want to show you is when this flasher, when this flasher is spinning in the water like this, that split ring. And, those, and that bead chain right there, that heavy duty bead chain, this right here is stopping any mainline twist at the split ring, okay? It twists right here at the barrel swivel to the bead, to the, to the split ring, and then it stops. It doesn't transfer through the split ring to the swivel, okay? And that is one thing I love about this setup. Not to mention, he makes different size bumpers. You can order them online or at Fisherman's, okay? Check out his website right here, guys. Coldwater Strong, there's his YouTube channel. Okay, back to the video. Aside from that split ring, one other thing I like about it is the 150 pound dropper line to a little tiny barrel swivel and a snap, okay? What's cool about this setup, this snap has a breaking point of 15 pounds. So if you snag, you're not gonna be losing your, your line. Therefore, you're not gonna be littering in the river. You're just gonna lose your lead and your snap. And you're gonna keep your line. No more rigging line, guys. That's all you gotta do. I have these in my boat everywhere. They're pre-rigged and ready to go. And then right here is your 200 pound bumper. Down to your flasher, down to your leader. All right, guys, let's get fishing uh, after your little short presentation on the whole herring. All right, everyone. Today I'm gonna to rig a uh, whole herring here, and I'm gonna do this because it's 57 degrees in the water, and I'm gonna be able to fish this on a pro troll. And we also have really low turbidity and nice clear water today. So the way I like to start doing this is we come up through the bottom here, right through his head, kind of come out where his eye goes. Boop. Pull that hook through. Trying to be really careful on the bait there. You Let's don't want to blow the bait out. Follow the same hole. With your second hook. So both of those hooks, you went through the snout, right? Yep, through the snout, right out the eye there. <laughs> so then I'm gonna take this here, second hook. We're gonna go down the lateral line, a little bit past the dorsal fin here. That's where I like to go right about there and just skin hook it a little bit down into the meat pop that hook back out and then that'll leave you this hook right there at the end of the tail and that's what you're looking for really want that last hook to be right there and then now you pull that fish tight and you want to create kind of a little bend just about like yay and you can hold that bend with your half hitches that come next i like to take about two or three and put them right there, right over the snout, right like that. Oop, that one came off. Get in there. There's one, just like that. Two like that, and then that gives you a subtle bend. See the little bend we got in the fish there? That looks like a nice bend to me. All right, now we'll move over here to the Pro Troll. And you guys can run this behind a Pro Troll or a Flasher, okay? This whole herring does not blow out. He's doing another half hitch here. This whole herring does not blow out <coughs> uh, behind a Pro Troll. So that's one of the reasons why you guys can fish this behind your Pro Troll, okay? Nice subtle bend you got there. You guys to take a look get a nice little bend get some half hitches over that nose pull both hooks through that nose 
There we go. We got Kelly paired up with that uh, Cold Water Strong Pro Troll 360 with the quick rig. Release. And he's got that quick release that also can purchase that Cold Water Strong. And here on the Pro Troll, we're throwing a 12 ounce sled off that 150, again with the 15 pound. And let's see how she looks. There you go, look at that roll. Nice and slow roll behind that there. there you go. Perfect. You can speed up your roll, guys, based on how much bend you put in that herring. So we're trying to achieve a slower roll here today. And uh, let's see if we can't get bit, guys. <laughs> 